All right. Hey, what is up, everybody? John from Magic Tech Review. What is going on? What is going on, man? We got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Man, we got we got phones burning up cars. We got we got you know loyal loyalty. Oh, hold up. Hold up. All right, there we go. Gotta have one hiccup tonight. <laughs> I had the I had the stream <laughs> playing. Oh boy. So all right. Uh well at least I can know I can hear myself. All right. So yeah, so we got cars, we got phones burning up cars. We have uh loyalty where you know customers customers they get no loyalty, man. They get nothing for being with a company, you know, like uh Sprint, they just put on their Fifteen dollar thing going on right now or whatever, but I mean, what if you've been with the company for like five, ten years? You know what I'm saying? You know, we're gonna talk a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, look, man. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. What you guys think? So, of course, leave all, all that stuff in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to CV Tech first off, and then subscribe to me. Uh, you know, once you're you know once you're done with the video or whatnot, and yeah. So, and then comment down below what you guys think about. All these things, you know what I'm saying? Replay crew and whatnot. So, CV Tech, what 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 do you what do you got going on, man? Uh, just sitting here listening to the sound of rain, man. Rain and lightning and thunder is you can see right there in the background, um, and all that kind of good stuff. Ah, so you're, you're reporting you're reporting from, man. You're you're in it, man. You're in it, like you know what I'm saying. You're you're right there, man. You're yeah, like, man. One of those reporters, like on scene, you know, like yeah, here on we the go, scene. You know? Yeah, right. You're gonna get blown out of your window, like oh my god, you know, it's so windy <laughs> out here. I'm loving it, man. Maybe it'll cool it off a little bit. It doesn't drop like like six degrees, so I, I could be helpful. So yeah, it says here we go again. Yes, yes, exactly. Here we go again, and it's a Samsung Galaxy S4 or an S8. So either one, you know what I'm saying? And it did, in fact, burn up her car. She said it flame shot up right out of her uh, cup holder. You know, of course, they're probably going to say, oh, it was damaged or this or that. You know, Samsung already is going to be taking taking the high road, and of course, but. Yeah. Be right back. I have to let my phone charge some more. Oh man, I don't know, man. It might be the last charge you ever do, depending on what phone you have. If you got a Samsung, it might be. Right? Yeah, okay. So let me let me paint the scenario to you, right? So a lady, right? She she's she's minding her own business. You know what I'm saying? She probably probably a Sunday, you know, probably went to church, praise the Lord. Amen. You know what I'm saying? She probably stopped by and got her some uh, I don't know, got her some McDonald's or whatever. And then she had, you know, she was eating or whatever, and then she she you know driving along. And then she had her two phones in her cup holder. She had a Galaxy S4 and a Galaxy S8, right? All of a sudden, bam! Flames just shoot out of nowhere. And then she has to she has to stop right in the middle of the right in the middle of the road, get out, you know what I'm saying? Run out of her car before her, before she burns to death from from the 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 flames. And literally, the fire department was on the scene. And everything. Literally, the only thing that is left is a Hulk of her car. That's it. So it's not like a it's not like a little flame. It's not like a little like you know something that you could just like pat it away. No, the whole car is gone. So, guns. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, now did this happen today? No, no, no. It's been it's been a couple days. I just I just didn't really. I, I don't know. I just hadn't had a chance to talk about it yet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and like NS Track says, why is it always the flagships that had this problem? All the budget phones seem to be better quality. You know, to me, honestly, I mean, I could be completely wrong in this, but it's like the more they want to pack into a phone, the more they want to do with a phone to do this and this and that and everything else, the more problems they have with their batteries and their phones in general, which is kind of sad. I know. And, like, it's, always, and it's always Samsung. 
It seems to be always Samsung. I, I mean, they do have some Apple phones, iPhones. They do have a little bit of, you know, they had that little one that was smoking, you know. So, I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit of iPhone, a little, or a lot of Samsung, a little bit of iPhone, you know. And it's just like, man, can, can, Sam, can these manufacturers, man, can, can they, like, get it right, you know. I mean, and they're worried about a ZTE stealing your information. Heck, you ain't going to have to steal no information. They trying to take you out right Right when you know, got the, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what if she'd have been on her phone up to her ear, and I think would have just busted out and flung that. I mean, that would have, you know, that, that could have cost her an eye, definitely mm-hmm. cost her an eardrum. You yes. know, just the whole side of her face and her hair and her head and everything else. So, mm-hmm. you know, and of course they're doing it. They're pending investigation and all this other stuff. So they're investigating it, but the lawyer's saying that they want to recall, and they're they're suing. They're suing. That lady's about to make some guap. She's about to make some bread. So, I would too, hundred percent. Hey, oh yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. Like, uh, oh, Chris Stevens has asked, "Did you see the new Horizon Four trailer, RJ?" Oh yes, that's a that's a definite pre-order, man. As soon as pre-orders available, I'm I'm going down to GameStop. I want to pre-order the top dog and yeah, ready. It should be ready in October. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We did watch E3. We did watch E3. We actually streamed some of it. Uh, me and me and CD tech over there. So we streamed some of it. He was, he was watching in the background. He was watching in the background. So yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it was an echo, bro. It was an echo, bro. Echo one. Yeah, can you unplug your mic? Unplug your mic. Yeah, I can try. All right, that's what happened the last time. I I'm plugged and plugged back in. All right, sounds great. See, it's that it's that headset, bro. The headset, man. See, Magic yeah, Tech man. knows how to do it. Is the echo gone, everybody? I know it might sound fine on our end, but on your end, can you hear it? And is it is there a bad echo, or is the echo vanished into thin air? That's why they call me Magic Tech Review, guys. Sounds good. See, bam. What's up, Oscar Federico? See, man, fixing fixing that. So, tech, man. so on the fly. What's up? What's up? Was it the S four or S eight that caught on fire and blew up? They don't know because she had to run out. She had to run out so fast, but it's it's either one of those two. Mm. So, you know, so and you know, they were like, "Oh, there's no recall on any, any of those phones or whatever." You know, they're gonna probably, they, you know, they're gonna slither the way out of it somehow. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but how do you guys think in the chat? What do you what do you think? What do you think in the chat, guys? Are they gonna do? They're gonna pay her off. They're gonna you know, pay pay her a couple million to 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 just hush hush and keep quiet because she didn't want she didn't want her identity revealed so i don't know what that well it's too late to keep a hush hush because now it's public right now it really is public yeah yeah true true i mean she i was gonna say something about stormy but i ain't even gonna go there Uh (laughs) (laughs) oh man I mean, you know, uh, if, if if it's a battery problem, they need to really reevaluate where they buy the, where they get their batteries, or something. And, and and everybody says, well, they don't want to put a too big batter too, too big of a battery in the phone because it can cause a more because it cause an explosion. What about these Chinese phones that's got an eight thousand milliamp hour battery? What about LG phones that's got forty five hundred milliamp hour battery and 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 beyond? I mean, you don't hear about those phones having any problems. I mean. There's a phone right now by a company called Blue Boo that's a Chinese phone. It's got an 8,500 milliamp hour battery. You probably won't ever hear about that phone ever exploding or catching on fire. It's always, you know, I mean, yes, uh, uh, Apple had a problem once with one iPhone catching on fire. But, the, but you know, um, a lot of, but they even said, Apple even said that if you use, you know, really cheap lightning cables, stuff like that, that it can actually cause a short out and cause problems. But Samsung is being like the number one um, where a lot of their, I mean, the Note 7, you know, and now either a Galaxy S4 or 8 or whatever, which one it was, yeah. it's just, it's, it's, it's sad. You know, they can get their batteries right. And this track has a good, good point there. She won't get anything. They will say 
she was using a car charger that isn't certified by San no 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 she's gonna get something she's gonna get something trust and believe me she's gonna get something for her for her car you know what i'm saying they're gonna they're gonna treat her really nice and everything and they're gonna give her some some hush money all right so she's gonna get paid off but officially they're gonna say she was either using a bad battery she's using maybe a third party battery or you know oh it's the s4 and it's not meant to be used that long or you know so if it's the s4 they're probably like oh well that phone is whatever four or five years old now you know she was using the raw uh, charger that was bad or this or that and the third so they'll find a way to slither out of it so it doesn't like so they don't have to recall every single s8 or s4 or whichever phone it was but and they're gonna pay her off but yeah. you know say so they're gonna find something they're gonna sign something you know Honestly, I, I I mean, I mean, I don't know the person. I don't, I don't. I ain't even heard of the news, but honestly, I believe that it was probably not the Galaxy S4. It was probably the Galaxy S8. Um, you know, a lot of those removable batteries, like in the Galaxy S3, 4, maybe even the five or whatever, it was replaceable. You just really didn't hear about that problem as much as, as you do now. Yeah. Well, I know. I know. If she had a third-party battery in there, that'd be the first thing I go to. Like, oh, that's not a Samsung battery. Hold up. Mm -hmm. We never said you can put a third-party battery in there. You know, you take your own risk when you do that stuff. So, if it's, I mean, a, if it's it, it S4 act and it had the battery removed and, and it had another re battery replaced or whatever, that that if I was the lawyer for Samsung, that would be boom. That'd be my ticket. I'd be like, yes, we won. I mean, they'll be able to determine what phone i mean even yeah. though both of, both of them even 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 though they both burned to a crisp they'll, they'll find what phone burnt would cut the start initiated the fire oh absolutely absolutely of course this is like the same thing in arson putting a whole house on fire you know what i'm saying they're not gonna just you know they'll, they'll find out so just to believe somebody puts uh a fire to, it's a, a tree even they're gonna, they're gonna trace it back and they're gonna figure out forensics and all that stuff. It might take them a little bit, but Samsung's probably got some really high tech dudes out there because they did do uh, investigations, primary you know primary investigations already. They hadn't come to any conclusions yet, but you know, mm -hmm. or or they could they could blackball her. You know what I'm saying? Make her look bad. They could be like, oh well, she was, you know. I mean, God knows what the lady was doing. Maybe you know, maybe she was uh. Maybe she, I don't know, maybe she spilled the drink on a cup holder or maybe her car was sticky or maybe it was full of trash or, you know, come on. They're going to, you know, <laughs> you know, they're going to go digging, man. They're going to go digging in this woman's, in this woman's whole history, driving record, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So it's it's not like, you know, they're going to yeah. find something. Yeah, the, the, they're gonna find something. They're gonna, they're gonna investigate everything under the sun to find out if she's using it. Because I mean... I mean, they could go as far as saying, well, she was using an authorized, certified Samsung car charger and and right. use it and use that as an excuse. You know, when we know we all know that's baloney, you know. Yeah. Or she wasn't using an authorized Samsung car. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's the car. I mean, they don't even sell car chargers, really, do they? The, the car charger doesn't come inside the box. I mean, so what do they expect you to do? Go all the way to Samsung and buy a Samsung certified car charger. If if that's the well, case, actually, you I was to, at huh? Go ahead. I was actually at Walmart tonight, and, and I seen a Samsung car charger. I seen a Samsung car charger, so it was Samsung yeah. branded. Yeah, but still, I mean, they need to provide that stuff in the you know in, in the box. You know, it's like they provide less and less and less stuff, and people go out and buy these third party options. You know, or they're gonna say, oh well, she had a case on there that wasn't a third, but that. I, I guarantee you that lady had a case on her phone. So she's they're gonna be like, oh, she had a case that was uh that overheated the phone, that it was not meant to work with this phone, you know? Or she had a glass screen protector, or she had a screen protector, the phone couldn't breathe and it just heated up too hot and it burnt up. Yep, Samsung will be a weasel about it. You wait and see. Yeah, but Yeah, see Sean Piper, Sean Cypress right there. He's talking about it right there. Battery probably yeah. overheated, and there was nowhere to dissipate the heat, so it might have just blown up. 
I mean, you. I mean, you really never. You you really never know the full story. You don't know. You don't. You don't know the full story about it anyway. Yeah. But I mean, you I know, wouldn't, I if, wouldn't fake. I wouldn't fake my whole car going on fire. Shoot, no. Not 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 unless you just want to get rid of her car. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it, it, I mean, I, it it can happen. I mean, anything with a battery can happen. But you hear about it a lot from Samsung. What's up, Vlad? What's going on, Vlad Nunchuk? Nunchuk? What's going on? All right, so we're past that. Okay, so now, if anybody has any questions on that, we can, you know, we can come back to that. But um, what do you guys think about these companies, Cricket, Boost, Metro, you know, Sprint even? They're always trying to get new customers in, right? But, you know, you could be with a company. I'm, I've been with Cricket for damn near three years now, three and a half almost, you know? They never came out and said, hey, man, you've been with us for three years. Let, let's, uh, you know, cut your bill in half. Never, ever will they say that to you. You're kind of cutting in and out a little bit there, uh, John. You're, you're, you're talking a little bit, but nothing's really come. It's like there's no sound. So I'm not sure if oh. it's your service tonight or, or, or some of the AT&T problems or what, because it's kind of cutting out, in and out a little bit. I'll let you know that. Uh oh. Not bad, but it's a little bit. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Looks a, look, looks a little bad on my end as well. I'm not really sure. I mean, I got like, I'm, I'm pulling like 70 download and like 25, 30 uploads. So I know I'm getting good speeds, but mine's not doing too good as well tonight for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. I, I mean, you can be with a company for 20 years and notice. They won't do. No, they won't give you nothing. It's like it's always for new customers or port overs or stuff like that. And most of the time, them port overs they don't last long. You know, they give them a great deal and they won't last six months and then they're gone. I guarantee you, there's still people probably on Sprint, AT and T, and Verizon. They're probably still paying for free nights and weekends. They could probably on that old plan. They're not going <laughs> to tell you about that stuff. They're going to tell. They, nah. Yeah, they probably. I'm. I'm telling you, bro. They're probably still paying. Per call, per text, you know what I'm saying? They they got an old flip that'd phone be, and they're paying. 100. That'd be sad. They, they got an old flip phone and they're paying a hundred dollars a month for it. I guarantee you that the the best customer for these wireless prepaid or wireless industry is customers that don't know, that don't keep up with it, because mm -hmm. they just keep paying and paying and paying and paying. And especially if they have it automatically coming out. Does CV Tech know about NetBuddy? Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course he knows about uh, NetBuddy. Yeah, NetBuddy sent him an uh, email as well, right? Yeah, I got the same email and got the same offer. I'm just uh, waiting to hear back from the guy. Phone company don't want to take old customers because they are greedy. I mean, they... Yeah, I mean, I, I know people right now that's been with Verizon, that's been with a lot of these, these Sprint for 15, 20 years, and, you know, they ain't getting nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the same way also with prepaid carriers as well. I know I know people right now on Cricket Wireless that are on the $70 plan. $70 plan has been gone for almost a year now. I know people right now paying $70 a month on Cricket. Wow. Yep. And you know, and they won't change to it because and, and cricket won't automatic will not automatically change you to that lower plan. But you know, it, that's sad. That it, it, it is sad. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, th th they're so money hungry, and they don't really they don't care about their. You know, I mean, that's why you can go into a cricket store, be, be with them for a year, and go in there to buy a phone, and you're going to pay right at retail price. They're selling it for if you bought it straight out, but yes, somebody else can go in there, go in there, and pour it over from a different carriers to get a phone for uh, a lot cheaper just to get it unlocked after, you know, and be gone, you know, mm -hmm. be with it for, get the phone for a cheap price, go to a unlocking company site and unlock the phone and be gone the next month. So they're, so they're taking, they're, they're, they're taking care of more of the port over people than they are their own loyal customers. Okay. So the Motorola Supra, it's actually I actually have a little bit of a, a little bit of different news as well. The Motorola Super has been delayed till the twenty second, guys. Not the fifteenth, it's the twenty second, and it's going to be for under two hundred. So it has been delayed a little bit. 
And that fool's gonna be how much? You cut out whenever you were sending the price. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be around one eighty. I don't want to say exact price because it you know they tend they can change it a little bit. They can give it a little discount, but it's probably gonna be one seventy nine ninety nine. So right around that area. And and one let's just say one eighty mm -hmm. for new activation or one fifty for a port in. So you Every, you know cricket don't give it. Any. Now it's gonna be and it's gonna be the same for everybody. It's gonna be one eighty. And I guarantee you, if the if if the Supra came to Metro PCS, as soon as it dropped, port in price would probably would be like thirty forty bucks. You know it would be. Mm hmm. Yeah, and also there's a uh, summer deals going on. That's starting on the fifteenth. I gotta make a video about that. They got some man. There's another phone. I, I still even make another. I still didn't even make the video about the other phone. So if you know about the other phone, please other don't phone. mention it. But uh, yeah, uh, shoot. yeah, I still gotta make. I still gotta make a a, a video about that. Dang, I'm so. I, I didn't. Even, dang, I didn't. Even, I dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, so it's crazy, man. This, the, you know, the loyal, the loyal is of these companies, and that's where their backbone is at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what if all the loyal customers just left? You know, and then they have these new people that are coming in. They're not, they're not going to stay with them. They're going to bounce in. They're going to get a phone. You know what I'm saying? Then they're going to be like, oh well, I don't want to stay here. I'll try something else. And they're going to just bounce out. Yeah, I mean, you know. It's like, uh, and then you got people like you, me, you three and a half years I call in, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I've been with you for three and a half years. Oh, well, that's great. Thank you for being such a loyal customer. That's it. That's all I get. You know? Yeah. I mean, if it's, it's, it's been with Sprint for, or, or, or Cricket for like a year or two, and then they don't, they don't get any offers, any good deals or anything thing else for a for an upgrade or whatever and then they got metro service in their area and they seen that metro was going to offer a great great phone for free and a port in they're going to be gone you know yeah i don't understand why why it's so hard to just be like hey you've been with us for a year here's five percent here's ten percent off what's wrong with ten percent that's nothing man it's chump change to them you know what i'm saying fifty fifty dollars five dollars okay. off What's wrong with that? It That's looks very chump changed. Huh? It, it, I'm, not, I'm not trying to uh, interrupt. But it, it looks very choppy on my end. How does it look on y'all's end? Because on my end, it looks very, it looks very, very choppy. But I don't, know, I don't know if it's my phone that I'm using or what. Hold on. Let me let me unplug and plug everything back in. Uh. <sighs> very chopped yeah i had a feeling it was choppy let me um let me end this call and change a phone because this phone right here for me is not doing good at all okay. um so uh just re-invite me here and in a few in about in about two minutes so i'll be all set up okay okay bro all right so you guys can see me obviously right all right so uh, yeah, so it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy, like five percent, ten percent, ten percent, five percent would not be would not hurt them at all. Wouldn't hurt their bottom dollar at all. And people would be like, oh, well, you know, why are you still with Cricket? Oh, well, you know, I've been with them for a year, and they gave me discounts. You know, they gave me great, great sir. They give great, give me great customer service, and they give you loyalty. You know, loyalty discount. So I don't I don't understand. Like that's so simple. That's something that you could do. That's so simple. Won't even really hurt nothing, you know, and and they could just take it back from you anyway, some other way, you know, just add some other charge in there or whatever. And, you know, and you at least you'll feel like you're getting some. Right, Nicole? What? what? As long as you feel like you're getting treated right, even though you're not getting treated right, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, even if you're eating out of the dog bowl, but if if, if you got if your name's on the side of the dog of the bowl, that'll make you feel better, right? I'm just saying, you know. Um, who the baby's medicine to stop talking because you just, you just messed that all up. I don't know, but yeah.
All right, diamond tap. Good night time. Night time. Night time. Home. Right there. Thank you. What you got going on? You got pay, you got your fingernails painted, toenails painted. I don't know what she's doing. She's going. She's doing something. I don't know. Do you see my fingernails? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know. Don't nobody want no chip nails on their mail. <laughs> when is the new ZT phone dropping? I don't know. ZT sucks, says somebody. Vincent Cricket needs better deals. ZT is great also. Okay, oxygen oxygen charges. <laughs> oxygen charges. Yeah, let me re-invite CV Tech real quick. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll charge you for something, man. They'll charge you for something, and they'll just get it right back. But, you know, just give you a dollar or two, man, or give you something, man. Like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, drop the info you know the info oh what's up raymond ray raymond valdez yeah, drop the info. You know the info. i do know the info i do know the info mill hustles cricket needs to do better to, for its authorized dealers yeah man then you got that too you got authorized dealers you got you got those people too as well. You know they're hurting, they're hurting at the stores. You know, I think it's that shirt, man. I think CV Tech. I think it's that shirt, bro. I think it's too sexy. That's what it is. <laughs> you're hurt. You're hurting. You're hurting us, man, with the sexiness, with the glad, with the sunglasses and the hat and the beard, and then you got the striped shirt on, man. It's just the camera's all confused, man. It's like, dang, <laughs> I don't know what to focus on tonight. <sighs> it's all good, man. So good. Does this look better? Look better, everybody. It looks better on my end. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I think so. So, guys, you think you think CV Tech's too sexy for a shirt or what? You think that's what it is? <laughs> oh my goodness! Look, it's your, it's your southern guy. Hold on, talk, CV. Uh, they're talking about the uh, Alcatel 3V. Uh, Alcatel 3V. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the 3V, honestly. The 3V? Hmm? He's got a beard. Yeah, he's got a big beard. Here's beard. She said you're beautiful. <laughs> there you go. It looks dark. I can't help it, y'all. Uh, I'm doing the best I can do tonight. Okay, so Thank Michael you. Michael West said it is a nice shirt. Thank you. All right. Yeah, the, I, I want to be honest with y'all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm not sure what we were talking about earlier because I didn't forgot now uh, and everything. Um, but the Alcatel 3V, the, uh, the only one that I've seen is a 16, 16 gigabyte version for the storage. It's 150. I would recommend the Blue Vivo XL3 Plus for 140 if you can get it for that price. It's got double the storage. So, look. Uh, Vincent D says MTR and I are New York City boys. Yep. So, look, look at this, man. I offered, okay, so the, uh, what is it? The Huawei Late, right? Huawei Late. Mother-in-law, she got she got the Huawei late, right? I offered her an Alcatel Idol 5, crispy, brand new, with the case. What? What? And she didn't want it. That is family business. Oh, I'm not going to. She didn't want it. She said, she said the phone was too small. It is too small. So this thing, brand new in the box. Would you guys have taken the Alcatel Idol 5 over the Huawei late? Just let me know. That's all I want to know. I think it's small. Okay, I would have. have a big phone and then downgrade to a small one. This is not a downgrade. This is so much more expensive. The phone is smaller, though, John. That's just like, I can't take the Stylo 3 and switch to that and be happy with it. Can't do it. Okay. Why not? Because it's small. All right. Joey Laura says, yeah. okay, Vincent D says, yes, I would. Yeah, man, this thing's got front stereo speakers, man. It's got <laughs> metal. It's got metal on the back. Like, come on, man. Oh, man, this thing. This thing is crispy, dude. Look, 
I haven't even taken off the back the back yet. You know what I'm saying? Gave her with the, the fast charger and everything. Robert answers, I'll take it. <laughs> Robert answers, I would. Vlad says, sell it. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe, man. I couldn't, but she brank, she gave it back to me. Like, nah, you can have it. What? Okay. <laughs> well, buy your own damn. <laughs> having some difficulty tonight y'all give me a second having some problems vincent d says 5.2 inches is big that's what she said she don't like small ones lol jose a says blue phones never gets updates no blue phones don't get updates but, but neither does alcatel phones Let's see here. Oh, did you see the unboxing by Mill Hustles? That famous unboxing? Yes, I seen that. Uh man, how is that uh X Link doing? I was considering buying one of those myself. Amazon, when I went there last, they were they were uh, they were sold out. Explain it is better. Yeah, I, I of course I, I I know it's better, but you know, the wife, she don't know how to explain to the to her mom that it's better, so Okay, everybody, is this light much better? It looks like looks a lot better on my end. Oh yeah, man, dude, what are you, where, man? You trying you trying to beat me, man? Hold on. <laughs> I got two LEDs shining in here nah, tonight, bro. You ain't gonna beat me tonight. Hold up. All right, so how's my light? How's my lighting look, guys? How's my lighting look? Is, 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 it, is it bright? Is it bright enough, guys? Is it good enough or? Bro, you can't even see your face. <laughs> I know, right? Is, is it good enough, guys? Is it good enough? Is it? Is... Let me stop. Yeah, you really need to. <laughs> oh, that's your. Yeah. Headache. I, man, I got man, I got this daggone LED sits it up here on the dash. Got a good place for it, and uh, LED up here in the visor. LED over here in the uh, my secondary windshield <laughs> mount. And <laughs> he looked like he's on the surface of the sun. <laughs> Jeez, man. But hey, at least at least I, at least it looks a lot better than it did earlier. So it's all good. All oh, great. All oh, good, man. Good. I'm showing sure the I'll... beard off. Got got the beard showing tonight too with, with, them, with them lights too. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, it's not bright enough. MTR women don't care about RAM or processors. It's all about the screen for them. Apparently, how's your LG uh, Stylo Three? How's it going? Have you broke it yet? Nope. Okay. Has the charger came loose yet? Nope. Okay. What's the first thing that's gonna go? My camera. Your camera? Because <laughs> I won't break it. Woman. Mm. Put my face. Like, let me stop. You gotta be careful with them phones. Ain't nothing gonna go. Nope. The phone's on. Ain't nothing happening to that phone. How many times have you left it somewhere you didn't, you didn't realize it? Twice. Twice? Look at her already. But I turned right back around and got it. See? She left. She put it that. She always puts it on her phone and walk away. Man, I already, I'm telling you, man, if I look over my seat or fill in my pockets and I don't fill my phone in there, I begin to go into panic mode, man. I got three phones and I can keep up my three phones every day. No, no problem. That's because you stick them in my kitchen drawer where my... <laughs> I'm talking. Are. I'm talking when we go out in the call. Tech right says, "Have you broke your phone yet?" Nope. She answers that so proudly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not even going to go into how many phones she's broken. My name is not Nicole. And what is this? The Stylo Four is supposed work. to come at the end of the month, so I think the 29th of June. Right, whenever the Stylo Four stuff to be real. Magic drawer. <laughs> the magic, yeah, the magic drawer, yeah. The, the pop magic bubble, drawer. the huh? pop bubble says, "Why, why, why the need for three at once?" That's just, that's just a tech, that's just a tech tuber game. I carry three, four, five phones on me at once because you never know. You might want to do a camera test. You might need to switch up sims, all that kind of stuff. MTR, get her an S nine. I get her S one. Uh, check right says I just got the blue Vivo plug 
uh, I said I, I had the blue vivo one, not the plus, but the blue vivo, if, on my channel. I done a um, I think a review and an unboxing blue vivo one, really mm -hmm. nice phone. But I had the blue vivo XL3 plus. I'm gonna tell you something that, that phone's a daily driver for me. I use it all the time. I absolutely love that phone. It does everything perfect. I have to watch your video about your um, Vivo One Plus. I, I would like to know, though, seriously, like not being sexist or rude or anything, like between men and women, who break their phone, like legitimately, who break their phones the most? Like, depends on what kind of job they work. Probably. Probably. I don't know. Like, and this track says, my wife broke her S9, small crack in the screen, because she needed a sparkly bling case and not the one that actually protected her phone. Yeah, that's exactly what she has on her phone is a sparkly bling case right now. Knock, so. on, knock on wood, I've had probably 200 plus phones in my, since I've started dealing with smartphones. And I have honestly so far not broke one. Not broke one. I broke one intentionally by smashing it against a rock table, but oh, that was case. my own fault because I was sick of it. But uh, that oh, was back shit. in like 2010. So, guys, uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this thing. Holy shit! Look at this. Look at the sparkles and the blings. That's her LG Stylo Three. Look at that. Ooh, look! Look at that thing is blinging all. She. I mean, why did you get the rose gold and then cover it with the case though? That's like. Look, the ca you still see the camera, though. Oh, you still the see the little part right there. Gold. Everything's still rose gold. This don't, case take the, is, don't take the case off. This case is clear. This is a clear case. That's the phone. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, All Vlad. Right. I, I'm knocking on right. wood, okay? Don't mess with me. Leave you alone. MTR, didn't you give your wife three or four? I've given her so many phones. How, how many phones have I given you? Look, the screen ain't even dirty. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you just wiped it. But list the case, the best for him. I've given her shit. Mel Hustles has given her a bunch of phones already. He don't even know her. See, that, that, that's also the thing with, with, with cars as well. Because with cars, that's why I, that's, one, that's, no, that's one reason. Not That's not the main, but that's a lot of reason why I buy a manual. Because a lot of a lot of people can't drive manual transmission, so yeah, that's also a major plus of having a uh, manual in a car as well. Uh, let me. So, Otterbox case, she'll take off the case. Say she can't charge the case. My phones always get too hot when the Otterboxes are on my phone. See, said, "Oh well, you're right. You're welcome, Nicole." Yeah, she's she's broken. What what phone did you? What phone did he send you? What did he send us? The LG. Uh, I, agree. I agree, man. The manual's on. Yeah. What what phone was that? Escape. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, escape. Buy your tempered glass. You broke one with the tempered glass on it. It had the tempered glass and the case. Oh my god, that broke my heart too. That take that. It still got my that case on it though, and I still the, use it. That takes some dedication to break a phone with a temp with with a with a case and case and, and, and a on it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree with you, Tech Right. I had a car once with a manual with manual steering and um and and the manual transmission and it just felt perfect. I loved it. I don't know, because it's fun and it's, it makes it it makes it better because people people like it, I guess. I don't know. Like you I guess so. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> buy a flip phone for your wife. Yeah. Need to buy one of them. Um. Uh, remember one the one I left you. Remember the one I left you with. The one that. Took the, the, hold the, up! Hold up! I, hold up! I left her with a. Uh, uh, I left her with this. It was one of them ones. It was a Windows. Win, the old Windows phone. It had the big SIM card, not the little, not the micro SIM card, or not the micro SD card. It had the big SIM card that went into it. Remember, the big, remember the big, this big SD card reader one. What was it? The, what was it that one? Oh my god, I can't even remember it. 
But I remember I had, a, I had a stylus. I had a stylus on it. It was a window, old Windows phone. Need need to buy one of those cat phones, one of those Dewalt cat, um, indestructible, can't break it phones. Buy a Nokia three ten for your wife. Oh well, she will break. Yeah, she'll probably she'll probably drown it. <laughs> if it ain't smash, it's drown, huh? Yep. You remember I was playing with the you remember you remember the first one you ever got me the pink flip phone that had the flowers on it and then you got me the palm thing after that Palm Pilot no the pink one Palm Pre Palm, palm Pre when you were working at Boost Mobile but remember the flip phone that you got me from Sprint and I sat there and I got so comfortable with like opening closet, opening closet, opening closet, and then I opened it too much and burned the top off. Yeah. And then we remember we had those the Sprint Samsung phones, the Samsung Moment, or no, not the Moment. The, not the Replenish. Oh, my God. It was not the Moment. It was the – what was that phone? Samsung. Oh, my God. I don't know. It was in 2007, John. It was a, it was an Android. It had, it, had, it, had a, uh, it had a keyboard on it, and it had a little – Touch at the bottom. Intercept. Remember the intercept? Yes. Oh, it's slow ass. Thing. But that was my phone. That, that was my phone. Oh. Right now it wasn't the epic. The phone. The phone yeah, that I into, the, the phone that I had, right? intentionally was the moment the intercept, which was the awfulest phone in the world. Because I had a pink one like that, and then I had a purple one like that. I purple. had a pink one first. A purple one? No, nah, I don't. I don't think and it was intercept. Had, it was something. No, I had a purple one, and then I had a green one. Oh, and then I tried to give her the Juno. She she didn't want the Juno. What is the Juno? Remember the purple? It looked like a BlackBerry. It had the key, the keys <laughs> on the bottom. Oh man, that, that little. And yes, I did take that. Oh, you did just for a little bit though. That's cause... the one I was talking about. And then they sent you another one. It was a green one. Or a blue one? Was it blue? No, it was green. Green. Was oh, and then I had then I got AT and T, and then I gave you that one, something. Mm. We've been with every freaking phone company there is. Yeah. Yeah, NS Track, the, the, the Optimus V. I had the Optimus yeah, S because I had a Sprint true. thing. That thing lasted forever, man. That thing was like indestructible. That thing was an awesome phone. Hey, I want a phone. I want a new phone. What do you mean a new phone? Why? Because my friend has this thing on her phone that she can actually video call people from your regular phone. Yeah, you can do that too. How, how do you think? Are you me sure it's not just a Verizon thing? It can be too. Yeah. What? I was just wondering because I know that they, I know that she can do it on Verizon. It's got video calling, yeah, but they they gotta you both gotta have the same service. But you can also use uh you can use app for that, Cole. Why do I want to use the app? Oh my god. Are you that lazy? You can't just tell somebody to download an app or use hey, Hangouts. Download Kick. No. <laughs> All right. Burger King has better burgers than McDonald's. Who agrees? Most definitely. Mm hmm. John Mo says McGhetto's. Man, I hate that. The horse meat is way better than the soy meat. I hate, I hate the, the McDonald's <laughs> new menu. The new McDonald's new menu sucks. I think. Like, their food ain't even good enough to be in $3. Right? One, two, and three. Like, what the heck? Like who? Ugh, that menu is just so stupid right now. I, I was digging the McDoubles for a dollar. Uh, what else was, was we, the two for two fifty? The two for five. Yeah. Burger King is effing trash. I'm leaving. <laughs> um, the Evos were great. Okay, now I'm seeing a Duke Blue in here. Duke Blue, nah. Got the Carolina Tar Heel Blue. No, mm -mm. it's all about Tar Heel Blue. So the only thing you should get at Burger King is chicken fries. Cookout has the best burgers, huh? I don't think I've had Cookout burgers. Hmm, I gotta try that. They're good, man. They're good, huh? Yeah, they are. I always get the char charbroiled chicken. That's what I always get. Uh, I've never had Five Guys. I've never seen a Five Guys or an In and Out. Price says In and Out all the way, bro. Well, I'll give you some In and Out. All right, tech right. 
God, John, stop it. I prefer Wendy's. Okay, okay. Wendy's, my four for four. Don't mess with my four for four. Doing your damn salad. <laughs> and a salad. Gotta have that salad with the with the <laughs> salad. I don't want fries. I want a salad. Yeah, can I have yeah, can I have can I have a uh, salad instead of a fries or diet coke? <laughs> Coke. Stay, stay away from the fast oh, food. Somebody's taking our money. <laughs> Tech right, call cops. What? What a burger is better than In and Out. Checkers and rallies is king. Coach K, Coach Michael Jordan, Olympic. Mm, steak and shake. Mm-hmm. I eat too much of the five guys, five, the free peanuts at five guys. What's up? What happened? I don't know. I thought somebody said our money, but I can't tell because you have so much shit that just popped up when I opened your box. Oh, okay. It's LGV3. Uh, That's the sound it makes when they take our money. Yeah, when the text message, yeah. Hold on, let me check. Let me check my message real quick. Oh, I got 43 people watching. I'm over here checking. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah, Sonic's That's good too. Awesome. How's everybody doing tonight? I know we, we hadn't really been. <laughs> Five guys. Oh my god. Five guys. Oh, it's it's my buddy from the game watching the stream right now, I guess. Texting me. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck okay. Duke Blue, what do I need to do in order to use Cricket Unlimited Hotspot? Please help. Uh, what do you mean? Whoa. David Wilson. Well, uh, you can use an unlocked phone and mm -hmm. use Hotspot on Cricket, but after a while, you might get a text message saying use an unauthorized Hotspot and you will be suspended or terminated because that happened to me. Let's see. Uh, Going to enjoy my iPhone. Kentucky Fried Chicken versus Popeyes. Oh, my God. Nobody wants them. No Kentucky Fried Rats. I agree. Because Popeyes, yeah, definitely Popeyes. Like a rat. I got 46 people watching right now. 47 people. What the heck? Where y'all all coming from? Popeyes all the way, yeah. Popeyes, yeah. Popeyes, yeah. Definitely Popeyes. Not no damn KFC. KFC, yeah. KFC, yeah. That's it. Used to be good though. I don't know what they did, but KFC used to be really, 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 really good. And they yeah, used to have until they started serving rats. And they used to have like some really big, 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 big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was a kid, KFC was good. KFC ain't um, with the food John. anymore. What? But now all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but. Their chicken is shaped like rats, dude. Do you Look, not remember that chicken tender I got? They both suck, says. KFC's just too greasy. El Pollo Loco. Oh, yeah. El Pollo Loco, of course. The best. Churches. Oh, my God. Why are we talking about chicken? LOL, big boobs, John. <laughs> you, you, have have a, you have to have an actual unlocked phone. Um, Outback like, is good. Yeah. Who got yeah. Outback money? I don't got no Outback money. Send me a send me a gift card. I'll go to Outback. I'll 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 stream the whole thing. Y'all can watch me eat every bite. I ain't got no Outback money, man. I ain't had no Outback money in so long. I don't even know what the Outback is. You want me to show you? Let me show you what the Outback <laughs> is. Yeah. Right. Was that when you cheat on the missus and you got to take the the side chick out back? Is that what it is? For me, I know it's it's Jody for us. I miss Boston Market. That was good. Don't you don't you talk about no Jody in this house? He goes out the back door when you come in the front door. We don't have a back door, Steven. Yeah, right. <laughs> I said, don't talk about no Jody in this house. <laughs> right. MTR wants a free steak. Yes, I want a free steak. I ain't had no I ain't had no steak. And so long, I don't even know. I don't even know what a steak is anymore. Yes, you do. When's the last time we had steak? Be honest. 
Last time we had steak. 2013. No, I don't think it's that been that long. Yeah, it has. We didn't have well, I haven't had no steak since you got out of that's a specific year, man. Your date. Yeah. That, yeah. That's <laughs> oh, last time I had a steak. The last time I had a steak was on Veterans Day because I went to freaking the I went to the thing and got a free got my Golden free Corral. meal. Golden Corral. That's the only time I have a steak. That's how broke I am. Because it was free. <laughs> because it was free. Yep. That's yep. Sad. That is that sad. Is a sad story. That is a sad story. See, 99 cents can feed this veteran today. Oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. Shit. Well, I guess you fell off the last room and eat. Go to let me see. Go to buffet or something. Yeah, go to but yeah. That's what yeah, that's what I that's what I usually do. <laughs> but yeah, Sizzler. I mean, I remember uh Sizzlers, that was good. Back in the day, we don't have no Sizzlers here, so they have one in Carolina. Oh, they do? Yeah. They have uh, Sizzlers over there? I had never seen one. No, oh, he's in Carolina. He's in like the middle of Carolina. Though. They have one in Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount. He's nowhere near. He's not in the... Yeah, I'm not in Rocky Mount. Mount he's not in the East Coast there. Uh, Steak-flavored ramen. There you go. Man, I got I got one package of ramen right sitting right there, man, on That's standby. Me. The beef one. Look at that. Tech right. Tech right. Send it a dollar donation. Thank you, Tech right. I might be. And now I can get me another pack, three pack of noodles. Thank you, Tech right. I'm going to try to get me some steak one or some steak seasoning. Oh, my God. You're making me hungry, says Sean White. John, huh? <laughs> oh, my God, man. What's the best macro beer? Macro beer? What's a macro beer? But now I like the Chinese buffets though. Yo, what are we talk? <laughs> tube steak. Tube, <laughs> tube stack ladies I love I that, that a lot. You know what tube steak is? The bad part of buffet is too. <laughs> you know what tube steak is, John? Uh-uh. I know you're a city boy. It's what you got in your pants. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Macro is beef. It's the big brat brewers. Oh, okay. Macro is the big brewers. Yes, I am. I am. I am ready for the e uh, June 11th Sony <laughs> E3 conference. Who else is ready for the Sony E3 conference? Raymond, oh, he says Raymond noodles. Yeah, tech. Uh, Flossie says Raymond noodles. Yep. All right. So, what are we talking about? We talked about food. We talked about phones. What are we talking about? Yeah, man. I don't have no idea, man. How they got up on food. Right. <laughs> I literally, like, I literally have like, I have an apple. I'm sure not eating no apple right now. Like, I'm not eating no apple. Like that's like desperation right there. Hey. North Carolina has Mayflower restaurants. They have great fried fish. Yes, they do. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been there. But yeah, I used to go there all the time. You guys heard about the ZT uh, Z Max Pro 2. I haven't heard about it. Look at this tech right talk about it, yeah. What's up, Magical Mermaid? How's it going? I'm ordering a pizza right now, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yo, I can't, yo, we cannot even order pizza. Pizza Hut will not let me pay for pizza. Every time, every time I order pizza over here, they're always late. They always take end up taking like an hour or two. One time they even closed up on me. Like they literally. I have to call back the next day, like, yo, what happened to my pizza? They're like, oh, well, the next one is free. I'm like, well, I, like, I, I've literally, I think we've tried to order like three or four times. We've gotten the, the pizza for free each time. They're so bad, man. I'd be like, but I didn't want it tonight. I wanted it last night. You know? Mm. Tech right leaking info. So, um, 
So yeah, man. I don't know, man. These pizza places, man, they charge you an arm and a leg, man. And and then they gotta then they want to charge you the 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 delivery fee. And then the dude, then you feel bad because the dude wants a tip. And it's like, yo, they just charge you like three, four dollars for the delivery fee. Like what? Where where's that at? Where where, where does that go? You know? <laughs> that used to be part of the tip. Like, oh my god, man. They yo, they they just something else, man. I don't know. I don't I don't know about y'all, but like it's not even worth ordering the pizza anymore nowadays, for real. Then they charge you like three fifty for the soda, like the same soda that you can buy for ninety nine cents at a at a grocery store, like just because it's cold. Yep, three. You know how much? You know how much two liter is at Little Caesars? How much? Three sixty nine. Three sixty nine for for the pizza. Yeah, that's what they charge you for the pizza. Yeah, that's what they charge you for the pizza. Three sixty nine. Three sixty nine for a two liter at Little Caesars. That's ridiculous, dude. A whole pizza is five bucks. A whole hot and ready, but they want to charge you three sixty nine for a two liter. <laughs> It, it didn't go to Walmart and get a 64 ounce Mellow Yellow for a dollar. Get a 64 ounce Mellow Yellow for a dollar? Yeah, full two liter. Little Caesars and Hot Rod. I got some hot ready for you, too. Huh. <laughs> Sandwich, Walmart. Sam's Choice, Walmart. Pop. Okay, okay. I see you. Nah, I don't have I don't have no Amazon Fresh in this area. I don't. You you lost me at Caesar's Pizza, Little Caesars. I think that's some good stuff, man. That's some good pizza. That shit is so dope now. They're like, oh, we're sorry, we changed the type of dough that we use. Um, we used. Renamed the street to Food Talks. Maybe I might one of these days. I like the International Inca Cola Soda. Okay. Yeah, I like birch beer, but I can never find that stuff. It's root beer, but it's like different. I can never anything I ever like in this world for some reason they end up just taking it away, changing it. How do you what do you think about that, CB Tech? Is that true with you guys as well? Or is it just me? Like I hate I hate when I like I really, really, really enjoy something. Cause for some reason it's like, oh well, nope, nope, we're not making it no more. We're gonna take it away. And it seems like everything I don't like, they like it's like here to stay. Just like you, what they can. No. You were like, I just want to call you and let you know I'm getting my Mario cereal. No, I didn't get the Mario cereal. No, I, I wanted to. They can have a brand can have ten items, and there's one item that you like specific, specifically, and that one item will be it will be discontinued. I know how you. I, I got you, man. Like Surge, I used to love Surge. <laughs> I hated oh. it. I always hated it. <laughs> Taco Bell testing liquor frosties, liqueur frosties. Oh my god, in the drive thru, I bet, right? Birch beer is it? Is that Master Jim, Mr. Jim's? It is a 20 minute drive from work. Yeah, I remember. I, I remember I, when I was in school, they took us to like some colonial stuff or whatever, and uh, you know, some colonial trip or something like that. And I, I don't know, it was they said that they used to drink birch beer. Back in colonial times or something like that, and that's ever since I had that little birch beer at that little one little school trip. That's I, I love birch beer anywhere I can find it. Hmm. Fago, Fago. What do we got? What's? Oh my god! What is that? What is that group? What is the thing? The clown, the clowns. I can't remember those people. All right. CB Tech. Yo. Uh, let's see. Damn, we got so many people up in here. Where can you buy 7 Up Soda? I know I can buy it here. I can't stand it, but you can get it here. Hmm. I can get you, sir. Did you working Thursday? Uh. Clown Posse. There you go. The Clown Posse. Yeah. I think Insane Clown Posse. Or something. No, it's something. They drink. I think they drink Fago. Huh? 
it's Fago and what is it, Insane Clown Posse? Or your your juggalo juggalo juggalos. Well, there you go. Juggalette, juggalo, whatever. That crate. No, I don't even. I don't even want. I don't even want to get people. I don't even want to get people. <laughs> I don't even want to get people started on that. Have you have you heard about that CV tech about the juggalos? Are you a juggalo? Explain. Explain. Let me see. Am I working Thursday? No, I'm working Wednesday and Saturday, sir. I don't, I don't even want to go into the juggalo thing, man. They think they're the shit. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They used to throw it around at concerts. Yeah, they used to throw it around at concerts. So people... You don't remember you don't remember like that comeback home and and I was completely soaking wet. Uh-huh. It's because my brother, it was my birthday. Yeah. My brother gave me the Fago shower with all the with the big bottles of great Fago. Uh look at that. Look, 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 look what Luke Tech just said. What? <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> Juggalos are hella irrelevant right now. G. Do you do you remember when we, when we, when we had when we had the baby running around saying that? Yeah, whoop 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 the whoop or something like that. I have no plans on getting another phone at this moment, Sean White. All right, we'll shit, stick around and just talk about Fagos and insane clown posses and whatnot. But uh, is it a lean? What? I don't know. Is it a lean? Hold on. Uh. David Garcia says, "Oh my God, the Bethesda conference was the bomb." Yeah, I got. I really got to watch it. I got to watch it. So, what happened at the? Uh, what happened with the Bethesda? What happened? Yeah, because I, I didn't watch any more after we after I had to, had to leave the stream today. So I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I ain't watch anything else. Whoop whoop! Stop! Don't dig that shit up from the past. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but yeah, my wife is some kid on YouTube used real spray paint to be a juggalo. Sure they did. What's up, TV, TJ Tavera? So who's a juggalo? Who's a juggalo in the chat? Bago's an inexpensive. As so they sold it in the projects when I used to live in Long Beach. Can Nightbot block moderators if they use foul language? No. You want me to get, get my hatchet girl so you can wear it? Your what? My hatchet girl. Hatchet girl? What is that? What's a hatchet girl? Oh, my God. <laughs> she about to get some stuff. She about to get some crazy stuff going on over here. <laughs> Hatchet man. All right. So, uh, what's the last topic on our thing that we were going to talk about? I think we got way off topic. <laughs> right? I don't even know. I don't remember either. Um, where are my keys? Just don't worry about it, babe. Not you must not watch my video, man. I've done several on the new Mimble G3, man. I got you, the Mimble G3. Zender written says, Why don't she want to be on the stream if she enjoys it too much? You don't mind me, mind me asking it. Why don't she want? I don't know. Like she should just f Tar Heels. That's what one of my friends. One of my friends is texting me right now. Says f Tar Heels. I don't even know what Tar Heels are. Tar Heels, man. It's a North Carolina thing. Oh, oh, Tar Heels. Christ, you know nothing about me. Oh, oh, 
Tar Heels Tar fan here. Big oh. Tar Heels fan here. Oh my God! Well, some yeah, somebody just texted me on my phone talking about F Tar Heels because they're watching oh. the chat right now. Oh well. Why don't, why don't you talk in the chat? Stop texting me and literally type in the chat so we can see. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think they used to YouTube or something. I don't know. Tar Heels. <laughs> Damn, my bad. My bad, dude. I don't watch. I don't watch stuff, man. I don't watch hockey. <laughs> hockey. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> what was it ice skating? It's basketball, man. College oh, basketball. basketball. Oh. They also right. have the college football as well. You play some basketball, man? Used to. Yeah? All right. Man, we should go we should go shoot a, shoot up on the court, man. I don't say I play it anymore. I said I used to. <laughs> oh. Man, what do y'all think about that new Fallout game, man? Fallout what Fallout seventy six? Man, that's gonna be the deal, man. That's a must get too. MTR watches cooking shows. Yes, I do watch cooking shows. What what about it? I'm gonna have to cook for y'all again. MTR MTR cooks. Y'all should live stream a little basketball match. Yeah, man. Absolutely, man. Play some horse. You know what I'm saying? Just take some shots from like outside, the, you know, different different shot, different areas. That's it, man. Nothing, nothing too serious. Maybe some free throws. I suck at free throws, so I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, uh, what is it? What, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. I suck at free throws. Um, yeah, Michael, Michael West. I can't, I think I asked Mill Hustles about that. Um, Blue X Link smartwatch. I can't remember if he answered it or not. Wait, that way, what he thinks about it. I can't remember if he did or not. I said, Me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at free throws. Okay, but why do you gotta bring him into it? Because that's my that's my dude, but he he sucks at free throws. It's a known fact, Nicole. He's great at everything else. Why do you keep saying my government? Uh, okay, play a little basketball. Do you know how many Nicole's there are in the world? Nicole, a million of them. <laughs> There's a million. Uh-huh. Okay. Michael Thomas says, I'm not a fan of Xbox. Sony is my thing. That's what's up. Mm. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I, I I was a very good bowler. Uh, I used to bowl every week, twice a week. Um, I mean, I had like a, I had a really good average. I could, man, and I watch bowling on TV when it comes on. A big bowling fan. I I should bowl all the time. Never was a part of a league, but really, John. What? You have it going from one phone to the other. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not a fan. Okay, so yeah, man. I used to I used to be good at a lot of things, man. I don't know for some reason I never I never stuck with any of them, but I used to be good at pool. I used to be good at bowling. I used to be good at all that stuff, man. But I never I never stick with it. I love bowling. I used to have like an average of around, I don't know, 180, 200. But I know right now it would be it would be terrible. I used to have the little pool glove and the little stick and whatever and all that stuff with chalk. Oh to, yeah, man. Pulling, man. I love pool, man. Pool was awesome. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's your thing? Yeah. Oh, here. Let me show. I don't want to wear it here. I know you don't. My chain's all stuck up here. Okay. Okay, here. Axe girl or something. Whatever. <laughs> axe head, axe boy, axe girl. Something like that. Here. There you go. Whatever this means. So there you go. That's my Thank wife's you. thing. Uh, so we need a MTR versus MTR versus CV Tech, and bet a phone on each. Who's giving us a phone? I don't know. What is going on with my 
Bravo. Love pool. Stunning. Oh my god. So who knows about that? Whatever they just I had out there. Um what? the thing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Cardinal King says, I wonder what Samsung's going to do about the issue. They're gonna pay that lady off. That's about all they're gonna do. What do you think they should do, CB Tech? What's your opinion? What's your stance on it? Well, the... <sighs> what would you do, man, if you're if you're the CEO of Samsung and you heard about the S4S8 uh, blowing up in the middle console and cars caught on fire, and whatever, whatever, whatever? What if would I you was, do right now? You were if I was the CEO. CEO or if I was a customer. If you were the CEO, uh, if I was a CEO, man, I, uh, I'd probably just I probably be contacting them in a hurry. And be saying, uh, uh, how much is going to cost us to keep us out of court? Because you, know. you know that they, cause they ain't hurting for no money. Come, you know, they can cheat. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I'd be, I'd be sending. I mean, I'd be taking her out to dinner, wine and dining her. And then, you know, slip her a little poison. <laughs> we'll see. Wade County, we don't know that it was the S4. Could have been the S8. We don't know what kind of phone it was. Either, either an S4 or an S8. Don't know which one it was. Mm -mm. Nope. Elon Musk, man, them SpaceX, man, them cars, man. They, they're going through the ringer right now, man. All the uh, autopilots, like. Who's stupid enough to like take their hands off the wheel and just let the car drive like in traffic? I don't understand, Not me, man. Buddy. Not me, buddy. And then it crashes into the back of a police car, like it slant it t-boned a police a police car. Lord have mercy, man. Lord have mercy. And then they say, Oh, well, the person didn't get hurt. That doesn't matter. Like yeah. what? No way. No way. Uh, I want to be in control of my car. That they're talking about all this. Oh, it's gonna be so much safer having us having these self driving cars and everything. I I don't know. I'm sorry, but I want to be in control of my car. I want to be in control of my car changes gears, and and mm -hmm. and everything else. I want to be in completely control of my car. Oh, I mean, and you know, there was probably like twenty thousand accidents that one that same day that the Tesla. You know, what I'm saying whatever. Uh, you know, slammed into a car, you know what I'm saying? But they're not going to talk about the 20,000 accidents that happen on every regular car. They're going to talk about that one accident that happened with the auto drive car, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously you're you're high tech right now, so you're going to be in the limelight, you know what I'm saying? And Elon Musk, man, he's pissed. He's like, why don't y'all talk about all the other cars that are crashing and wrecking, you know? But mm -hmm. they just don't, they don't care, man. But yeah, like they saw something on the internet, right? Because you're supposed to have your hands on the wheel, right? And it detects if you don't have your hands on the wheel. It gives you like two, two uh, like visual cues or something like that, and then it'll give you like an audio cue to put your hands back on the steering wheel or whatnot. They actually make a device that fools your car into thinking that you have your hands on the on the steering wheel. People actually buy that, man. Yeah, I mean, like Michael says, people getting lazy. Uh, you know, technology, technology is making people way too lazy. They are. I mean, to have, I mean, for Google Assistant to, to, to literally call and make an appointment for you. I mean, if people are too lazy to where they can't even call a place of a place to have a, to make an appointment, to make reservations or whatever, they got to have a intelligent, uh, an, an AI from their phone from Google do that mess. I mean, seriously. I mean, you know, okay, come on. You know, that's annoying though. It's you know, that is annoying. I mean, it's cool that it has that, but I mean, come on now. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess I'm just different on things, but I believe that a lot of technology is making everybody just not. I mean, do, you know? don't you hate it when you call someone and they're like, "Oh, can we put you on hold?" Well, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. When you when you call somewhere and they can, oh, we're extremely busy right now. Can, you know, can you hold for for a minute? Like, what? No. 
You just answer the phone. I'm like, no. People hire it's personal just, assistants all the time. Good. So get to the, so get to the point to you know um, Michael Thomas. I'm always in the driver's seat. It's just if you um, I think it was Tech Right. I think I I think I seen like 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 just a I, I pushed his video for like a like like a minute, and I think that his was also flipped when he was doing his live stream earlier as well. So everybody that streams from their cell phone is flipped. That's the way it is. Yep. Deal with it. Are we getting comp complicit with technology? I think the human race, of course, man. Yo, man, why, why my, why my Uber pulled up talking about what is windows down? Talk about the AC broken his car. We just gonna have to deal with it. Like what, bro? No, nah, man, you got an automatic one, one mm. star, baby. I just want to say with you. Yep. Why is it got to be on that one day, hot day though that your Uber got to have the windows down? Why can't why can't I just order Uber and the AC be working pumping real nice? Michael Thomas, I told you that over and over again, man. That you know you you say now now you understand, but I told you that over and over again. <laughs> Tech right said, "Yep, Tech right said mine was flipped. I was in the driver's seat too. Exactly. Um, it's a YouTube thing." This, I mean, on Hangouts, it looks fine. Um, I'm sure whenever John goes live from his phone, it's flipped. I'm sure it is. Can't really tell it because he's not like sitting, sitting he's like out, outside, so you can't really tell if it's flipped or not. But uh, now when you turn the camera around to the rear camera, it's not flipped anymore. See, but the front on, camera's bro. flipped. I could, I could flip myself, bro. Watch this. Oh, 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 I'm flipping myself. Oh, oh, which which was it? Which way? Which way? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh, oh! See, I can flip myself. I can flip myself. What is that? <laughs> so, which way is the real MTR? Is it this way or is it that way? You'll never know. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, everybody seeing it on their screen um, for some reason. Um, after the past couple of YouTube updates, you're now flipped. And I'm not really, and every phone that I've used is like that. And I don't really know why they need to fix that because it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Let's see here. What's the point of a car if you ain't going to drive it? Just make, just take the bus. You let, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, I don't want, I don't want no AI tech system driving my car for me and I sit back and relax. I don't think so. So my Uber rating is a nine is a four point nine six. A I wish yeah, we should have a bowling match, bro. I think a bowling match would be decent. I haven't bowled in so long. I think bowling would be good, man. Yeah, I haven't bowled in a while either. It's been years yeah, since I've been bowling. Can't be bringing no no professional balls and none of that stuff, no pro shoes. We gotta use everything from the from the freaking place, all right. Don't be, I don't, don't I don't I don't I don't wear the shoes from bowling alleys. I'm sorry, that don't happen. Uh, <laughs> I got my own shoes for that because uh, uh yeah. see look at that. See, look at this guy already, man. Already. Damn, get, well, I, I got it. I'm getting everything, man. Old my own uh tournament. He gonna, he gonna pull up, he be like he gonna be spit spit shining the ball this his ball he been he been sleeping with every night. Talk about old, old Betsy got me, you know. Yeah, saying, man. Well, what the hell? No, man. Come on, man. Man, I had the I had the whole tournament ball, uh, bowling balls, man, and all that kind of stuff, man. All right. Bowl with the lane bumpers. Oh goodness, that would kill me. <laughs> the lane bumpers. <laughs> oh man, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Man, these. Yo, these Chinese review, reviewers, man, they they something else, man. Talk about talk about I gotta pay I gotta pay for the, the product first and then they, they'll send me the refund. No, buddy. Mm -mm. Something mm -mm. else. <laughs> you know you done messed up when he brings his own ball. <laughs> right. I got my own ball, I got my own shoes, my own bag, my own my own wax rag, all that stuff, man. <laughs> wax rag? What the heck? A wax rag? When the heck, man, man, oh. you, man? You gotta wax that thing, man. Make that thing go down, the, go down the lane a lot quicker, man. 
Look at this guy. CV Tech high tech bowling shoes, right? <laughs> That's right. What, what's, your, what's your ball's name? What's your ball's name? Well, I don't have that one anymore, so I, I got to actually get me another one. Oh. But what what was the what was it what was her name? They didn't have one. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not fair, man. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you, man. I gotta, I gotta buy a whole new setup again, man. Cause my my old setup, it got it got it got left in a car. It got flooded, and, <laughs> and yeah, so uh, it's no good anymore. Very pearl, blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's, that's my that's my that's what might be called blue balls. But since I hadn't been bowling in like um I would say eight years, eight, nine years, and I, I probably went from a two hundred average to like a hundred average. Well Yes, I get this I'll go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was just saying yeah. <laughs> All right, so yes, I got the same email. Pay for the product to review them, get reimbursed. Yeah, man, it's like, come on, bro. Like, if you're gonna send me the product, they said a product with a possible possibility, with a possibility for a review. Like, what? What do you mean possibility? Like, you're emailing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get we get these emails like every day. So many of them, like, come on, dude. Like, yeah, no, I get emails all the time saying, you know, saying the same thing, you know, would you like to review this product? You know, go ahead and purchase this on Amazon, and then whenever it's verified, we will refund your money. And I'm like, right. I don't think like, so. They send, us whole, they send us whole phones, you know what I'm saying? Not even like ask nothing. And they talk about it says, Hi, this is Lucas, the media specialist from Light, Light XM Technology. We are doing some exciting stuff and launching the latest and greatest truly wireless headphones. You know, it would be grateful if you can cooperate with me. Any forms of cooperation acceptable. Let's make profit together. Let me know or whatever. And it's like something about some stupid headphones. I'm just like not even like interested at all. Like, yeah, I, I don't reply to them either unless it's something that I think is really worth like the net like the net buddy deal. That's something that was okay, but a lot of a lot yeah, of the crap I just like, yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys right here. This is this is what they're this is what they're trying to send me or whatever. Like, I mean, I understand or whatever, but like, come on, man. Like, you know, you're gonna send me the product. That's fine. You know, send me another. Maybe send me two. Send me one for a giveaway. That would be awesome. You know what I'm saying or whatever. But don't don't be like, oh, you know, can you pay and then we'll refund you and all. Yeah, exactly. And I, I, I don't trust any of them. And um, I'm still waiting to, I'm still waiting for that one phone manufacturer to say, hey, we want you to review this phone. Because I've yet to see that happen on my channel yet. After, after seven years of being on YouTube, I have not got that once. Mint Sim. I still haven't, I still haven't even activated this Mint Sim. Dude still hasn't even hit me back yet. Like this, that that should show you. That should tell you how much of a marketing team they have. Like I literally was like, "Hey, can I call you up and ask you a few questions? Get this activated." Oh well, I'm I'm really busy today. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do it next week sometime, maybe Monday. It's Wednesday, dude. It's Wednesday. Like literally, you can't just you. I literally just can't call you and ask you. You know, two or three questions for five minutes. You got to wait all the way till Monday to ask answer a question about a freaking service like come on if you don't have you don't have five minutes in five whole days like no bro, no i don't even care about you like how is how is their customer service going to be yeah tech like, right i i didn't reply to mint sim either i did reply to net buddy but i didn't reply to net i didn't reply to mint sim and i actually um did reply to one and uh it was a really cool product as well i can't remember what it was now but by the time that they got back to me they said that they wasn't offering that deal anymore and i'm like okay whatever yeah, i actually so... I actually i have gone after them i have sent many many emails and messages to a lot of companies and uh either one they say that they're not going to give a, they're not going to do any kind of review units right now number two 
um, they say, you know, thanks, but, uh, um, or they will sit there and say, maybe we'll do something and never hear back from them again. Or three, I'm just flat out ignored. No, Michael yeah. Thomas, I haven't. Who's cheating? Zender Renton. Right. I mean, why? I mean, there's a, a lot of YouTubers go after, go after manufacturers. Yeah, it's crazy though, dude. Trust me, man. Watch, they're just gonna hit you up, and they're gonna be like, "Yeah, we're gonna send you this phone." Blah blah blah. They're not gonna even answer, ask you any questions. They're gonna be like, "What's your email? What's your what's your address?" So we can send you this phone. That's it. That's when you mm -hmm. know it's gonna. That's when you know it's real. They, they're gonna say, "Hey, we're gonna send you this phone. We need your address if you'd like to review this phone." That's it. Bam. Yep. Other than that, don't don't yeah. With all this other. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about that. 80 to 100 subs a day. Dang. Yeah. Whatever happened with the cool pass sponsorship? Man, that lady, that lady could go. Good old Maria. Her email don't even work no more. She probably don't even work with the company no more. The old fake. The old, them old fake, fake views on, on their page. Let me yeah, they me. got they got how many followers on Facebook, and they get how many likes and stuff on their comments. I'm gonna go look right now. I'm gonna go look right now. I'm looking right <laughs> now on Facebook. Freaking cool pad, man. My LED my, my LED lights are getting dimmer in here. They're getting dimmer. It's getting darker in here because uh, the batteries are going dead. Look at this look at this crap. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna show you guys right now on my phone. Let me see. They got they got 2.4. I'm gonna show you guys right now. They got, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. You just gotta have to believe me. They got 2.4 million people that like the cool pad page and follow the cool pad page, right? And their last their last post that they did, their last post that they did, which was May 31st, got one like. Got a total of one like. So you tell me 2.4 million people like this page, but their last post that they did got one like, bro. Like, <laughs> Sad. That's pathetic. And that's, oh, my goodness. That's 10 days, bro. 10 days. Yeah, it's got to be a... They said happy Memorial Day. They said happy Memorial Day on the 28th. They got four likes. Come on, bro. It's got to be, a, like, like, like Wade County says, it's got to be a whole crap ton of bots. It's got to be or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. And they, yeah, and they, they should have stuck with us. The Fubu Bobo sponsorship. We sent them out emails, man. That one. Uh, what, is, <laughs> what is that? What I, is that? I never, I, I never heard of it before. That, 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 that mobile company. Fubu Mobile, like the Fubu, the shoes. Mm. That one is like is a robot. That one like is a robot. Says Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, man. Your one like is a robot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably the CEO. Like, hmm, let me get it started. Let me hit. Let me hit like on my own post. Let me get it started. That'll kickstart it. Stupid. It's crazy, man. That's for sure. I don't know. Cool, Pat might be doing it right overseas. They doing it over here. Oh man, I ain't fight. I ain't fighting CV Tech. Nah, I ain't fighting nobody. I'm a I'm a rub his beard. <laughs> I'm, fall, I'm fall asleep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is the best phone and carrier you would pick in a perfect situation? And question two: What phone would you use if they all worked on GSM and CDMA? 
Oh goodness, that is a very tough question. Uh, um, I would say probably if it wasn't so ridiculously expensive, I would probably have to say Verizon because they have the best coverage in my immediate area. And as far as a phone, oh my god, probably the Huawei um, P20 Pro, something like that. Yes, take for your needs. I remember my I remember my very first video, but the first video that I made was not tech related because this was not my my channel was not going to be a tech related channel. So I can't remember my very first tech video. I don't cause I may have deleted it. I don't know. Oh, I remember my first video, and I accidentally ended up deleting it. It was a uh, the big red safety box. Uh, it's autistic uh, for autism and people with autism or people that have uh, like flight. Or whatever they like they 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 have this thing like you can get it for free and they send it to you and literally we have it on the door still the little they send you a little alarm they send you little stop sign things they send you a whole bunch of stuff basically it helps you out for your autistic child or whatever or you know i forget what they call it flight flight risk or wanderer i forget what they call it exactly but yeah, man, it's a cool, pretty cool, pretty cool box. You can donate to them and get you uh get you one of the boxes. You know, you can get it for free. So I ended up getting a free one and then reviewing it for everybody. But somehow, when I don't know if you've ever seen the CV Tech, but when you upload on your on your phone, right, and it says processing or mm -hmm. whatever, sometimes you go into your own video again on the phone and it'll still say it's processing or something like that. But you already uploaded the video or the video's been up there, yeah. right? You ever yeah. seen that glitch before? Yep. So I'm like, oh, processing. I'm like, oh, no, well, I'll just delete that. And I ended up deleting the video. Ah, uh, okay. So my first video I ever did, it, and I ended up deleting it on accident. I don't even know how I got started, man. Because, I mean, it's like I just started doing, I mean, a lot of my stuff started out just doing them cheap pocket camcorders, man. And it just kind of, it kind of like just like took off from there. I don't know how the view started or the subscriber started. I have no idea, to be honest with you. If anybody you know, asked me about it, I'm just like, honestly, I really don't know. Because I really didn't start out as as starting out as technology-based channel. I mean, I mean, I went probably a year or, or you know, without really even doing hardly anything related to any kind of technology. And then it was like really slow going. So honestly, I couldn't even tell anybody if they were to ask me. I remember I used to be in this kick chat really heavy, man, and I started growing popular. Everybody was following me. That was pretty cool, man. CV Tech and Guns. Yeah, man. If you had a if you had a tech gun channel, man. Well, not nowadays. Nowadays it's uh, nowadays you get demonetized and you know that's a mess. Stupidity, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can't. Well, I did review the safety box again. I did a re-review re of it, and then I ended up giving another safety box away to somebody that needed it because they had an autistic child or something. Or maybe it was a teacher or something like that. So I ended up giving it away. Rubbing the beard, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's almost hitting about 12, so we got 36 people watching. Everybody hit a like on the video, and everybody better be subscribed to CV Tech. So I want to see I want to see him get thirty six subscribe. Well, probably you know. So how many people in this live stream tonight want to see me do a live stream? Do y'all want to see a live stream from me, or do you not? Because I'll go either way. I can go home, or I can do a live stream. So hit a one if you want to see a live stream, and hit a two if you don't. <laughs> so it looks like so far everybody's saying one and see and go live and me and everything. Wow. Everybody's commenting now. Sweet. <laughs> There you go. Give this man a reason to stay. Or give this man a reason <laughs> to do his thing. 
and all my and all my stream tonight's going to be is just a Q and A. It ain't going to be anything topic. I ain't got no topic. So I do have a couple of videos I got to get done and uploaded, and a unboxing. It's a mystery unboxing. I see enough of you here, lol. Damn, and it's track that burns. You ain't got to join. <laughs> He's going to be there anyway. He's going to be there in the bleachers. <laughs> I don't make anybody. I don't, I don't, I don't, yep. All right. Well, I guess, I guess you have your answer there. I guess we'll go ahead and. Just kidding. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right oh let me um hold on let me, let me post this discord link in a chat right now i'm gonna i'm gonna post a discord link because i think people need it need need more cv live i don't even want to i don't even want to get off either but you know eventually you have to you can't just keep going and going and going i mean you know what i'm saying Eventually. man man that, that's it they're telling me to do, do a sunrise stream and stream all night long y'all are y'all 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 i tell you i can't be that interested in y'all i mean i mean y'all I mean, you know need more cv i'm telling you i go live a lot y'all i go live a lot a lot a lot yeah i mean now we, we are gonna have to do something for it. here's the link here's the link guys go to go to this discord right here now we are gonna have to do one for fundraising though. One of these days we're gonna have to do. Yeah, man, we'll get her we're done. Have do for, we're gonna have to do for charity, charity stream. Um, it'll have to be where. Uh, how long will that? How long do they, those last? Some of them go for twenty four hours. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, Robert Allen says when is twenty four hour stream coming? Yeah. How many super chats have you got tonight, uh, John? Uh, TechRite sent one, so I got a dollar. I got a dollar. dollar. We're, str we're struggling YouTubers. Struggling YouTubers, <laughs> right? Uh, NF Track says, what charity? I don't know. I don't know. Like, obviously, it's good. I'd probably, I'd probably want to do something with autism. So if anybody is linked in close with the with the charity that I can hook up with or whatever, you know, I have to make those calls and whatnot and see what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know which charity we would do, you know, but could you imagine how much data that would use doing 24 hour live stream? <laughs> right. I, would, I would have to have like one of those net buddies in my house. Cause I, you know, I could not sit in my car for 24 hours and do a live stream. There's just no way possible. So here's 500 invisible dollars. <laughs> Thanks, man. Five hundred I, 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 I owe you, huh? <laughs> What's up with all these ones? What did I get lost in? Oh, if you want CV Tech to go live, yeah, for me to go live, me to go live. All the ones to go live. Yeah, I, I, I ain't get my, I ain't get my money for my stake, so I ain't, I ain't having no stake. <laughs> but. One one of these streams, I'm gonna get some steak money, and we're gonna go out for steak. Not tonight, though. I'll give you 24 bottles for Melly Yellow for 24 hour stream. Look I'm Anna's sorry, I can't, they can't do it. Oh, look at the Anis track. So he felt bad. He's like, oh, here, here's a dollar and one cent. Thank you, Anis track. Thank you, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Right. We all. We, I, 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 I won't tell you. I mean. You can, I mean, a great, a great or not, it's, it's a struggle, ain't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, what I'm saying like, ninety nine cent store steak. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But um, nah, man, nah. I mean, hey, there, there's times though, like I'd be like, yo, I really need, like, I really need some, something or whatever, or I'm like really struggling. I bet you everybody would start would donate, like, you know, what I'm saying, like. Oh yeah, but I just I don't want I, I'd rather save it for like one time that I really like am really struggling, you know, or something just happened or whatever. And even though a lot of times we talk about you know super chats are wide open, donations are wide open, lot you know it it, it, it is helpful and it is very well appreciated. But it's we're not here for 
for you know what I'm saying we're not mm-hmm. like, we're here because we enjoy doing what we're doing and enjoy mm-hmm. talking to everyone who comes into the uh, to the live stream. Y'all, are, it's awesome. Dude, it's Miller, I think he can end up giving like three hundred dollars during Christmas. So Lil John had a freaking excellent Christmas off that man. He had an excellent Christmas. So he had a whole bunch of stuff under the tree with that three hundred. So. No, that was like that was awesome, man. He saved Christmas, but he he saved the MTR Christmas. So when when it's like they come through, like they you know our Elvis is here, he'll come through with the rarest of moments. So you know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. It's all good. It's definitely all good. I've gotten yeah. more than my fair share already. Oh yeah, so I I I, I feel you, man, and I enjoy it. I think it's fun, you know. Hell yeah, everybody. Forty people, almost fifty people was in here tonight. That was awesome, man. Yeah, man. Make a store for your phones and accessories you have. Yeah. And, you know, and, you know, there's times in my street, I've had it with like 70 people watching at one time. And there's people that just don't want to talk. They don't want to, you know, they, they want to just sit back and listen to a live stream and don't want to talk and chat. And that's, that's cool too, you know? Yeah. That's kind of weird though, man. I don't know. I feel, I feel, I feel kind of, feel kind of some way, man. If you don't at least say hi to me. At yeah, at least, at least say, hey, how you doing? You know, because, I mean, there's been some people in my stream lately that I've never seen before. And I'm like, ah, and I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. You know, uh, a, new, it, a new viewer. Yeah, at least say hi. At least say hi once. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't saw, if you haven't typed anything in the chat tonight, say something. Say hi or say hello. That's just weird, man. That's like, you know, that I feel like you're you're out there with the freaking binoculars behind the bushes. Like, oh, what the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hello, John and RJ. What's up, H- CH Steel? Damn, Nightbot got you. Oh, Nightbot is savage, man. Wade County says some people can't chat if they're watching YouTube from a TV. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's that. That's yo. That makes me feel kind of weird too, man. That I'm just on a TV, like the big screen, man. Like a big screen, a like how do I? <laughs> that's, that's gotta be strange like who the hell would have thought i would have been on somebody's wide big screen tv in their living room gone celebrity man right <laughs> like man you need to channel watch something important not no damn magic tech <laughs> <laughs> all right well let me go ahead and get off of here guys and get ready for uh, CV Tech's live stream tonight. Yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'll be on soon. Uh, give me about 10, 15, and uh, get everything ready to roll and all that kind of goodness. So, yeah. All right. Wade County says, how much are you on the 55-inch? That's crazy, bro. That's so. That's just so mind-boggling to me, dude. I can't even wrap my head around that, that I'm on a 55-inch TV in somebody's <laughs> living room. Uh, there you go. There you go, man. Uh, two dollars. Michael West. Michael West with the two dollars. I like. I like that thumbnail. I mean, I like that that profile picture. <laughs> Got the bobs showing the bobs. Got the booty out there. Thank you, Michael. Michael. Michael West. I record on my old VCR. I look, he's recording me on. Could be on a, on a what? 81? 81 uh, inch TV. <laughs> oh. No problem. Yep, yep. All right, people. It's been John from Magic Tech Review with CV Tech. And I guess I'll see y'all later. Have a good night. Peace out.